Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 5898 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 30 moves to clear out 48 layers of jelly, or 48 jelly squares, and collect two ingredients. Now the ingredients are here, and all we have to do is clear out the licorice to get them down here, and we don't have any more licorice dispensers. We do have ticking time bomb dispensers, but we also have these striped candy dispensers. I think what we need to do is get rid of as many of the blockers as we possibly can, look at ways both to create our own specials and then also to use the specials that are coming in through here. And this is a great way to do this. Look at this. We get a striped ripped combo. It's going to take out three licorice here and three licorice here. It's also going to hit this, which will take out this jelly it's high up and difficult to reach so we're going to have to try to find some way to get rid of that as well and now i could do this and get rid of the ticking time bombs but if the ticking time bombs are set at 22 and i have 25 moves i don't want to run the risk of having that backfire because i took them out too soon I'm trying to do a little cascading here to see what will help i wanted to bring this down further and take out more licorice I don't seem to be able to do that. I could make another stripe here. I'm going to do that just to see if a... Oh, shoot. A stripe came out so I could hit that. Well, stripes came out, but... Wrong direction. Oh, I got another stripe draft. Not great, but not awful. And there's a lot of stuff I need to take out here. So this is opening up some of this other stuff. I've got wrapped candies that might help take out the residual licorice here. I'm just going to keep making stripes and then try to bring them down further so they have more impact at the base. There we go. So the ticking time bombs don't seem to be too much of an issue, but the problem is this does not populate very quickly. So I do need to figure out how to get to these areas that are a bit more isolated here. How can I get a purple in through here? They would have to come down one, two, three, and not get struck by anything else, but I don't have the opportunity to make anything there. I could do a wrapped candy here, and it would trigger this, which wouldn't be awful. And then I think I get a striped wrapped, which I do. I still don't have this cleared, though. I think while I have the opportunity, I'm going to... There we go. So now when I hit this, it's going to hit this and open up that top portion for me a bit more still have problems but now I have a bit fewer if I do this I hate to use both of these at the same time but now I've opened this up and I've struck that I feel like if I could get a striped wrapped combo while this is nice and full that would be wonderful on this board Oh, I want to bring this down one, but there are too many stripes to allow me to do that. I'm going to do this and bring things down here. I still didn't get anything to hit that. So I've got this and I've got this, and the dispensers aren't really well lined up for that. Because even if I get a stripe down here, how do I use it to hit this? The cutouts make that tough. So that one I'm going to have to try to maneuver on my own. And I did not set up for that this time. So I have work to do for next time, but now I know what I need to do. I can see where the danger spots are. I'm going to pause the recording. I'll meet you back here with a new board, and we'll give this another try. Okay, let's jump in. Ooh, I like that, opening this area up. Now I have to tell you that even though there are quite a few problem areas, these two here are definitely the most difficult for me to deal with. So I'll always be keeping an eye out for what I might be able to do there. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. We're just setting everything off. I don't mind. I can make a wrapped. So now I've got a striped wrapped combo or a wrapped wrapped combo. But the striped wrapped is going to be better here. The wrapped wraps, it's too far away from, you know, both sides. It can't hit both sides. What though if I could get... Oh, 
What if I could get a stripe to match with this? Because then I could hit these problem areas. I will definitely forego this to take care of this. That worked out beautifully. So I had promised myself to keep looking for those opportunities. And thankfully, one became available. And we still have work to do, though. Let's just try to bring some stripes down here and see what can happen. I'm going to make more stripes. Um, I could set that off. That's not bad, but I need to get both sides of the board. So let's do this. Um, open that. Now I've got this. I'm just going to blow that up because it felt good. Uh, danger. We have got this set at three. So, oh, this is going to work. Look at this. I'm going to set this striped wrapped combo. It will hit this, which will trigger this, which will blow all of this up. The striped wrapped is also going to hit this side. So that's everything except one layer here, and this is in the big portion. So finally able to get it done with seven try with seven moves left, but it took me more than seven tries. It took me nine tries to get that one done. Um, so it, again, it was those little spots off to the side where those cutouts were, especially the one on the left hand side. It was very stubborn. So look for those opportunities to get rid of those if you can. If this was helpful, it is that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.